everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to A Hymn for Him. I am your host, King Worship. So firstly, I want to say thank you for joining with me here tonight for this moment uh, where I venture into a new series called A Hymn for Him. I honestly feel that there's a need to, you know, reintroduce the hymn out into audiences God has given me this direction and um, directive and I decided to do thus yet the Lord so it's gonna be a fun series we're gonna look into hymns see where where their origins are from if there's a story behind of it we're gonna make things a bit exciting so if you're there with me just let me know who you are in the comments leave your comments below share 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 like and share so let's jump into this series now i have a special guest with me here today yes guess who it is guess who it is it is my mother my mother loves singing this is where i got my singing from and my love for for singing and my gift as well through her, I know she loves singing. I can remember when I was young, my whole, when I was younger, music was in my entire surroundings. Everywhere we go, we love music. Music fill the house. So there's where I got my appreciation for music. And my mother used to sing as well when she was younger, right? Yeah. <laughs> so she used to sing. And so she encouraged me. I could just share one more thing before we jump into this my mother I remember i don't know how many of you out there remember Antiana show and all the different other shows my mother used to push me in singing and so this helped me you know to propel me into where i am today so i'm very grateful and she's here with me and she has always been supporting me through whatever you know when it when it comes to singing she's always there to assist me and so she's here today she's gonna sing for you guys so the first song that we're going into i'm gonna reintroduce to you this first hymn it's called trust and obey trust and obey it was written by john henry samus in 1887 and the music was done by daniel towner in that same year now, John Henry Samis was born in Brooklyn, New York in 1846, and he passed in Los Angeles, California in 1919. He was a businessman who eventually became a minister of the gospel, a Presbyterian minister. So the story behind this hymn started with the musician, Daniel Towner. He was a musician and a worship leader and he was in a meeting and this is what happened. There was a young man, it was a men's meeting, and this young man got up and testified about trusting God and obeying God for his soul salvation. He was so impressed that he wrote his friend a letter explaining what happened because this testimony impacted so many lives that night including him. The words in that letter impacted John Henry Samis and he just transformed those words into the hymn that we know today called Trust and Obey. Good evening ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Uh, my name is Catherine May and I'm um, Stacy's mom and I would just like to do a hymn for him. Uh, tonight, I'm glad that I had the opportunity to do it. So I hope it will be a blessing to you. Okay? Hope I can still sing. <laughs> While we do his good will, 
He abide with us still, and for all who will trust and obey, trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. Not a shadow can rise, not a cloud in the sky, but a smile quickly drives it away. Not a doubt or a fear, not a sigh or a tear, can abide while we trust and obey. to trust and obey. So let's just give my mother a round of applause. Woo! Woo! Yay! <laughs> yes, guys, uh, that is our first hymn for him tonight. And because this is the first episode of this series, we're going to have a second hymn for this night. Now, my second hymn, I when I was doing the research on this hymn, I was like, this hymn represents woman power to me. Blessed Assurance, we know this hymn, Blessed Assurance was written by Fanny Crosby in 1873 and the music was done by Phoebe Knapp. Women! women shouting out all the ladies who are watching you can do great things so yes this hymn was written by fanny crosby and music was composed by phoebe knapp and she was born in 1820 and hear anything about this woman from an infant age she became blind she wrote her first song at the age of nine. She, is, she was also known as the most prolific hymn and songwriter in America. She wrote over 8,000 hymns and songs. She was married. She was blind. And she was married to a blind musician. And they had one child who passed soon after birth. But this never deterred her because that, that foundation um, of God's word, even though she was blind, was instilled in her from a young age. Her grandmother pushed and pushed her to learn the scriptures and to recite. And that was the foundation that all these hymns came from. So the story behind this song is a simple, simple one. She was visiting her friend, which is the musician, Phoebe Knapp, one day. And Phoebe was playing on the piano a tune. And she turned to her and she said, Fanny, what are you hearing from this tune? And Fanny knelt right there and prayed to God. And a moment after she got up and she said, Blessed Assurance, Jesus is mine and this is the hymn that we have today that has gone through generations to generations to bless to heal to deliver what a great hymn and i'm going to share it with you today a hymn for him Oh, what? 
joining me on this first episode of a hymn for him join me next week same time 6 p.m on these social media platforms as i said before if you've enjoyed this episode come on click like share and leave a comment my name is king worship and we worship the king in spirit and in truth bye guys hope you enjoy Oh, yeah, it's, 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 I can't I can't sing with him. Mm -mm. I never cost him for singing so fast, man. Well then you just do it without it. <laughs> okay, so let's not do the music yeah. first and see how the song. Okay. <laughs> it's him get distracted now. I'm <laughs> everything bothering me now I for sing. Bye guys, hope you enjoy. Come on, come on, put yourself. <laughs>